Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to my Football Manager 2017 Arsenal career. This is episode 9 and the last episode of the season. We have the UEFA Champions League final against Roma in Wales. And then for the remaining of the episode, we're going to be recapping the stats. I'm going to be showing you how the other teams shaped up around the world. Some of the new manager transfers and player, because I really do love the manager transfers. Conte was sacked by Chelsea and Roberto Mancini is in charge of Chelsea now. Pep Guardiola, yes, was sacked at Manchester City. And Gus Hiddink is now the manager. There's a lot of really exciting stats. And uh, I might even give you guys a sneak preview of Season 2. But guys, I can't stress this enough. If you guys want to see more Football Manager on the channel, leave a comment and a like. Let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see Season 2. And uh, yeah, maybe suggest some more other Football Manager saves or series, yeah. So, we're going to play a 4-4-2. Martial Lucas leading the line. Sanchez, Ozil, Xhaka and Walker. Gibbs, Koscielny, Mustafi. Now, unfortunately, Hector Bellerin has picked up a red card, which is absolutely devastating. Peter Cech is really going down in price as well. He does have a pretty good ability, but he, he played pretty badly against Juventus, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to bring on Gabriel Palista for him. And then we're going to have to put Mustafi as my right back and keep him as a central defender. Who do we have on the bench? We have Welbeck, Wilshere, Coquelin and Chambers. Chambers and Wilshere have come back from their loan. Unfortunately, they're not going to be available. So we're going to bring on Coquelin. Espina, Giroud, Fabregas, Coquelin, Oxlade, Chamberlain, Awobi and Ramsey are going to be on the bench. Let's have a look at the competitions. We have won the Premier League, of course, by six points. We're in the Champions League final. We have the chance to win the double. Unfortunately, we lost the FA Cup final to West Ham, if you believe it or not. We did win the EFL. We lost it 3-1, which is gutting. But hey, you win some, you lose some. That's Football Manager. We did lose 4-2 to, to uh, Alan Pardew. But yeah, we'll go through the stats. We'll go through the goals of the season. Uh, who won the golden boot, the golden glove? We'll go, so we'll go through the stats, which um, I always find fascinating for football managers. So let's get stuck into Roma here today. Roma, actually, before we do that, let's sort of show my Champions League story, I guess, and some of the stats. So Lucas Perez is third in top goal scorers, okay? Martial was leading the assist, Walcott with the distance, Vermaelen facing his former side along with uh, Chesney has most key tackles, and Chesney has most clean sheets, followed by Peter Cech. Kind of sucks that we can't recall him, because it's sort of a broken tactic in uh, FIFA especially. So let's go through... Um, let's go through this, actually. What we'll do... I want to show you guys the fixtures, if I can. Uh, here we go. So, we managed to win. We had such a crazily... Easy draw. Like, we were so, so fortunate. We managed to win 1-0. Oh, yeah, 2... Sorry, 2-1 two, over Arsenal... Uh, sorry, Sevilla. In the quarters, we managed to win 8-4 over Villarreal, which is just nuts. We definitely got the weaker draw then. We weren't tested in the Champions League until the semi-finals, where we managed to beat Juventus 5-4. Yes, 5-4. And now we face Roma in the final, and Roma are currently in 10th in the Serie A. They are not doing too well. Inter Milan actually won the Serie A. That's sort of a bit of a taste of some of the other leagues. They have smashed Juventus's five-year consecutive title, and Inter Milan are now the uh, the champions. I think uh, Frank De Boer is the manager. Right, so we're the favourites, 5-4, Roma is 7-4. Let's get stuck into Roma here today. They're playing a 4-2-1-3. Uh, is it Jordan or is John, John Getty? Mm-hmm, okay, leading the line. Good get Goodetti. Goodetti, I think that's how you say his name, the Swedish man, I have no clue. Perotti, Mohamed Salah, I haven't learnt it. Uh, who else have we got here? Uh, Leonardo, Strutman, De Rossi, Juan Jesus, Vermaelen, Monolas, Florenzi, Vermaelen, and Chesney facing their former side in Arsenal. Fazio? Fazio plays for Roma. He's on loan from Tottenham. Okay, the Argentine. El Shawari Totti is playing. 40 years of age. Has he won a Champions League final? 
I don't think he has. Man, imagine... I feel bad for Totti if he loses here today, I guess, for, for him personally. Um, Bruno. A Turbe, former Bournemouth man. <laughs> let's face Roma. Let's get stuck into him. I'm going to shake uh, Bielsa's hand. And let's face Roma. Monolas and Koscielny link up. But yeah, I really want to push on and try and win the double. I think we can do it. We've had a we've had like a such a fortunate run in the Champions League. We definitely can do it. And in the in the Premier League, no other side could really catch it. They were just like a, between like second and third. It was so tight. We did even lose to we lost to Man United twice, and they were still nowhere near us. So Alexis Sanchez on the ball. We're gonna yeah, it's gonna be tough just with our defen defensive structure playing. Mustafi on the right now that we don't have Hector Bella in. Sanchez finds Anthony Martial. Lucas! Lucas Perez makes it 1-0. What a phenomenal piece of teamwork. Holy fucking shit. Alexis slips through Martial. Vermaelen and Struman with poor defending. Lucas puts it into the bottom left. Lucas Perez has been awesome this season. Not as good as Akadi. Because we're going to be signing him next season, hope or we will be. Urzil. Oh my God, Lucas with the volley. We're two 0 up in the Champions League final. Scores his 27th goal of the season. Urzil finds Gibbs. Check out this volley from Lucas. Venomous. Maybe there's a bit of a conspiracy for Marlon and Chesney uh, are <laughs> wanting to see uh, wanting to see Arsenal succeed. Maybe. Are we about to be 3-0 up here? Martial finds Lucas. Oh, hits the bloody crossbar. Nearly scores a hat-trick in the Champions League final. We're all over Roma, but he might have another chance here. Now, Perotti and Guidetti cut it out. Oh, wow, Gabriel Palista. That was close. We're 2-0 up against Roma. I don't think it's time to park the bus just yet. Oh, come on, cut this one out, Ozil. Good on you. Sanchez finds Martial. The number nine puts it over the top to Lucas, who scores a hat-trick in the Champions League final. Would you believe it? Lucas Perez scores his 28th goal of the season. We're 3-0 up against Roma, and it looks like they're down and out for the count. My God, it's so intense, football manager. I'm so used to playing FIFA career mode where you're controlling it, but now you have to rely on your tactics. You have to rely on your transfers. You just have to sit back and hopefully relax, and, and hopefully your team can prevail, and they are absolutely doing it here today. I highly recommend Football Manager 2017 if you uh, haven't gone and picked it up. Guadetti on the ball. We're 3-0 up. Mohamed Salah oh, fires at Peter Cech, but he gets his hands to it. Three goals within the first half. Can we get a fourth? Mustafi. Ozil. Mohamed Salah on the break. Oh, that's a nice ball over the top to the Swedish man. To Guadetti. Xhaka finds Walcott. Walcott, Lucas Perez. Monolas, man. He's a rock at the back. Gibbs has been playing awesome. Martial. Walcott uh, to seal the deal. If we could get to 4 0, that would be. That'd be down and out, I reckon. So, Martial's picked up two assists. And so has Gibbs. Was it Gibbs? Yeah, and Lucas has claimed a hat trick. Man, this guy is on fire. 28 years of age, 28.5 million pounds. 25 goals, 13 assists this season. Excellent performance. How? What are the stats going into half time? 11 to 7, 4 to 2. The 4 4 2 is working so well. I highly recommend it. I love playing with two strikers up front. Gabriel Palista. One Jesus whips it in. De Rossi and Roma manage to maintain possession. It goes to check, and Walcott's breaking away. Lucas is just tearing up their defense, and Martial makes it 4-0. Scores his 50th, yes, 50th goal of the season. Tony Marshall, he came from France. The English press said he had no chance. Tony Marshall has scored again. Ah, 4-0 up against Roma. In my opinion, 
Martial in this series is the next Thierry Henry as Mohamed Salah heads it over the bar. Okay, they're doing some tra they're doing some uh, substitutions now. I'm not going to do any of mine. My guys are actually all right. Uh, waiting for next highlight. And th oh, okay. Martial has a facial injury. He should be able to push through it. Martial has a facial. Um, right, what's going on here? Hmm. Let's bring on Fabregas for Ozil. I want to try and kill off this game. We're 4-0 up. We're not going to concede four goals within like, what, 20, uh, 15 minutes plus extra time? Probably roughly 20. I'm going to bring on... Ramsey for Xhaka, and I'm going to bring on a Wobi for Walcott, I think. We haven't really got any defenders now, anyway. Maybe a Wobi can pick up a goal. But, it looks like Koscielny, the captain, will be lifting the trophy in the Champions League final in Wales. Ramsey, in front of his fellow countrymen, I imagine there's... A couple of Welshmen came down for the occasion. That's not bad from Mohamed Salah, but really couldn't get enough on it. Looks like we have cemented the double here today, though, guys. We started off phenomenally. We're still going here. Martial Awobi whips it in straight to Chesney. And we're going to get one last chance here. We might win the header, and we did. Well, we didn't win the header. We won the ball. Lucas scores his fourth goal of today's match in the Champions League final. This fucking guy, man. Fabregas, what what a ball. Gets it on. Look at the... Look. <laughs> Ramsey with an awesome pass. Fabregas with an over-the-top through ball and a, li a really nice one-touch ball from Lucas Perez. And this guy, man, he played phenomenal. 9.5, 90.8. 9.9. Four goals, one assist. Lucas Perez. People doubted him when he came to Arsenal. He has just shown all his critics. He's shown them up big time. And we've won the Champions League final. Yes, 5-0. Yes, 5-0 over Roma. But honestly, I think it was to be expected. God knows. Only God knows that they... So how the hell did they beat Barcelona 2-0? It would have been a different story if we had to face them. This Champions League run was ridiculous. Laura Koscielny is out for 4-10 to 10 days. Man, you deserve an injury. You deserve to sit back, relax, and uh, really just soak it all in. You've won the Champions League. We've managed to receive 20 million, 11 million there. Wow. Guys, I'm officially delighted to announce that Season 1 is over. We have won the Premier League and the UEFA Champions League final. We lost the FA Cup, unfortunately. We did, we did win it a couple of seasons ago. West Ham won it for the first time in a while. First time in 10 years. We did win the AFL Cup, though, which is great to see. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to go through the emails and, and just pick out which ones are interesting to show you guys. And then we'll start recapping the stats. So guys, I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, here is our commercial summary. We got six point uh, 64.8 million pounds in sponsorship, which is up. Uh, what else is sort of here? Broadca broadcast revenue, 128 million pounds. Martial sold the most short uh, shirts, the number nine shorts. <laughs> Koscielny second, Urzil third, Alexis fourth, and Fabregas 18th. Uh, I'll go through and see if there's anything else which is interesting to see. Okay, here is the Arsenal end of season rewards. The fans' favourite went to Koscielny, followed by Martial and Theo Walcott. Lucas got the goal of the season against West Brom. We'll watch that. Signing of the season, Anthony Martial. Young player of the season, Anthony Martial. Team of the season, Giroud, Lucas, Martial, Xhaka, Ox, Walcott. Okay. Gibbs, Koscielny, Mustafi, and Hector Bellerin. Who isn't in there? Sanchez didn't get in the team of the season. Wow. 
That's controversial. Giroud got in ahead of him. Right, let's watch this uh, goal against... Uh, let's watch Lucas's goal against West Brom. Right, Walcott on the ball. Finds Lucas outside the edge of the area. Holy shit! What an absolute banger. That was ridiculous, that goal. Yeah, I do remember it now. I, I play a lot of matches in Football Manager. There was a couple of screamers this year. What a goal. Right, let's go back through the emails and we'll see if there's anything else more we can dig out. Okay, six Arsenal players were named in the Dream Team, the European Champions Cup Dream Team, Champions League Dream Team. Suarez, Lucas leading the line, Martial, Kadira, Roberto, Messi, Gibbs, Kashani, Mustafi, Bellerin, and Buffon in goal. Lucas won the Golden Boot in Europe, followed by Suarez and Anthony Martial. Lucas has been the has been the top striker in the European Champions League, scoring 14 goals. Timsey is the cream of Australian managers. He's the cream of the crop. That's a little bit uh, condescending. We're not farmers out here. Not all of us. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here here is some of the Premier League awards. Arsenal, we had a couple of players named in the team of the the team of the year for the English Premier League. So this is the team. They're playing a they're playing Deeney, Wilson, Martial on the left, Hazard, Eriksson, Walcott. There should be a lot more Arsenal players. Settings we won the title. Moreno, Sebastian Prudel, uh Sarko, Walcott and David De Gea. David De Gea won the Golden Glove, followed by Peter Cech and Bravo. Martial won the Young Player of the Year. Martial wins the Golden Boot with 38 appearances, 30, sorry, 38, yeah, 38 appearances, 30 goals and 12 assists, followed by Diego Costa with 24 goals, Callum Wilson with 20. Martial wins Players Player of the Year. Martial claims Footballer of the Year. I'll see if there's anything else that's of interest. Okay, I've just gone through my inbox. Let's go through and I'll show you how the other league shaped up around the world and ours. So we won the Premier League, followed by Liverpool, Tottenham and Man United. So there was only one point between second and fourth. We lost seven games this season, drew six and won 25. Like Man United, if you beat Arsenal twice, you should be not this far down. Who did they lose to? West Ham, Swansea, Burnley, and Everton. Yeah, we 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 lost a lot of games, but we could ju we were only just ahead. Six points isn't really anything. Wow. But the other three teams struggled there. Chelsea finished in fifth. Watford sixth. That's really good for them. West Ham seventh. Man City eighth. Sunderland ninth. Southampton tenth. Everton eleventh. Bournemouth twelfth. Stoke thirteenth. Leicester fourteenth. Crystal Palace fifteenth. West Brom 16th, Swansea City escape relegation in 17th, Hull, Middlesbrough and Burnley are relegated, which is, I don't, I don't like the three teams that come up went down, disappointing. Right, let's have a look at the stats, Martial's the top goal scorer, Eden Hazard with the assist, Walcott second and Martial there, Theo, Theo Walcott and Sanchez travelled the most distance, Jagielka with the, with the tackles. Mingale with the less conceded. David De Gea with the clean sheets. Most tackles there. Uh, Redmond with the dribbles. Tadic with the passes. Lucas Perez had 38 passes? It's because he plays as a false nine, doesn't he? That's why he gets so many passes in. That's great. Champions League-wise, Lucas was the top goal scorer on 14 goals. <laughs> That's just nuts when he scored four in the Champions League final. Martial picks up the assist. Walcott once again with the distance. That's pretty much it. Sebastian Rode with the tackles. We did lose the FA Cup, unfortunately, to West Ham, but we did win the EFL Cup 4-1 over Tottenham. Okay, I found out where to find the goals of the season, finally. So here are some more match stats. There's probably some more stuff we can go through as well. News and headlines. Slade takes Burnley hot seat. Uh, what else can we look through here? Transfers. We can sort by fee. Who? Wait. Oh, I want to sort by fee. We need to go further up. Here we go. Uh, Nangolan was the top, was the most expensive player. Joined Man United for 70 million pound, 72 million pounds. Martial's worth 48.5. We picked him up for 56. I'll go through my own transfers a bit later. Manager movements. Uh, what else has happened here? Let's sort by date, I guess. 
So Roberto Mancini is at Chelsea. Sean Dyche left. Ankara, I think he was sacked because he got relegated. Anything else? Anyone else coming in? Obviously, Sam Allardyce is the <laughs> Stoke manager. That's quite funny. There's the transfer window, transfers, award winners. So, Flamini, the former Arsenal man, picked up goal of the season. Zaza came second for Everton. And Jose Holobas for Watford. Let's check out these goals. Let's check out the goal of the season. I want to see if it's any good, in my opinion. So, it was Flamini, the former Arsenal man. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty far out as well. Flamini hits... It was his first goal of the season. 5th of November. Zaza for West Ham scored the second best goal of the season. Let me know in the comments which you think is the best. So Zaza... Oh, I think Zaza is better than that. That nice one touch, putting it into the top right. And then we've got Holobas. I think the second one was way better. That Flamney one was good, but it was... Oh, I don't know. That was in the bottom right, wasn't it? Holobas. Oh, <laughs> that's got to be close. I've changed my mind. I think the Holobas one is better. That is just nuts that you can score that type of goal in Football Manager. Perea finds it to Holobas on the left. Is Holobas left-footed? I'm going to have to find out about that. If he's not left footed, Jesus Christ. 32 Greek. <laughs> is he left footed? Yeah, he's left footed. Okay. I was going to say if he isn't, that was just ridiculous. Okay, here are some of the Premier League awards that we went through. David De Gea won the Golden Glove. Uh, Martial won Footballer of the Year. Here's the previous years. Goal of the Month. Goal of the Season. Manager of the Month. Right. Manager of the year goes to Walter Matsari. Why the fuck did I not win it? Player of the month. Uh, doesn't really matter. Players, player of the year, Anthony Martial. This is the team of the year. Young team. Uh, top goal scorer, Martial. Young player of the month. Let's go back to the Premier League here now. Anything else I want to go through? History, record pass winners. We're sort of... Good for the Premier League. I think I think we've just gone through everything. Um, I'll show you my transfers. Obviously, we brought in Martial for sixty-five million pounds. He's worth forty-eight now. Sixty-four games, fifty goals, and twenty-five assists. Anept is on loan at Fenerbahce. He's doing all right. Two goals, five assists, seven point eight. Picked him up for six when he was transfer listed. He's worth nine. Sask Fabregas picked him up for 18.5 million pounds. Had a pretty decent season. Um, he is 30 years of age now. He was transfer listed for, uh, by Chelsea. Seven games played, 54 off the bench. Six goals, four assists. Not bad. I, I, I didn't play him as much as I would have liked. Um, they're the outgoings. Um, what else can we look through here? The 4-4-2 worked out so well this season. So did the 5-3-2. We didn't use the 4-3-3. Jurgen Klopp high pressing. Uh, Martial scored 50 goals. Lucas 29. Sanchez 15. Ozil 5. Walcott 13. Gibbs 1. Koscielny 2. Mustafi 5. Giroud 12. How did our guys go out on loan? Most of them did all right by the looks of it. Koscielny did all right. Emilio Martinez. Okay, guys, let's go check out the teams and how they shaped up around the world. So let's move to La Liga. Firstly, Barcelona won the La Liga, followed by Atletico Madrid, Atletico Bilbao. Real Madrid finished in fourth. Where did Atletico finish? Oh, they finished second, right. Granada, Ibar getting relegated there. Ronaldo scored 23 goals. Messi got two as uh, second in the assist. Barcelona has won it three years in a row now. Let's move to Germany. We're going to have to go with... All right, here we go. Here's the league table. So Bayern Munich came first, followed by Bayer Leverkusen. Dortmund third. Borussia Mönchengladbach fourth. Schalke fifth. 
Might 6, Wolfberg 7th, Red Bull Leipzig getting promoted and finishing in 8th. They did very, very well this season. Dominic Kaiser did all right. Uh, Frankfurt and Freiburg got relegated, not Darmstadt. Okay, Kevin Voland is the top goal scorer on 22 goals. Lewis Holpe, the former Tottenham Hotspur man. With the assists, let's move to Serie A now. Inter Milan won the title the first time since 2009. They broke Juventus's five consecutive year run. Juventus came second. They won it quite decisively as well. That's nuts. Followed by Napoli, AC Milan, Bologna. Florentina finished in eighth. I love Florentina. Oh, I'd maybe apply for this job advert. Maybe... um. I don't know. Maybe do my own personal series. I love Florentino. That's the team I support in Syria. Uh, Torino 9th. Roma 10th. Lazio 11th. Empoli Sampdoria getting relegated. Dabala is the top goal scorer of Syria, followed by Akadi. He will be joining us soon. I'll show you. I'll show you him joining us um, in this video with the assists there. Buffon with the clean sheets. All right, cool. Let's move on to Serie... Sorry, let's move on to the La Liga. Sorry, I meant to say um, League One, not La Liga. It, you have to change the playoff to table view. So PSG won the uh, League One for the fifth consecutive time, followed by AS Monaco... Angers? Angers? Hey, hey, Angers? I don't know how to say that. Ninth, it's French, so it's most likely different. Angers, if it was English... Um, Olympic Lyon, Toulouse, Bordeaux, Saint Etienne, Nice. Huh. Um, wow. Marseille finishing 13th. Bastia, Metz, and Dion, Dion getting relegated. Who won the Eredivisie? Ajax won the Eredivisie. Is Dolberg. No, I was going to say if Dolberg's their key man, he should be. Feyenoord, PSV, Eindhoven. Uh, who else won there? Utrecht finishing 12th. Sparta Rotterdam got relegated. <laughs> Guys, I genuinely don't believe this. This is utterly insane. Um, if you guys have been watching my football manager, uh, my FIFA 17 Newcastle United Road to Glory career mode, you will know that obviously I got promoted and so did Ipswich. Now, this is freaky. I think they finished 10th in my career mode. However, Newcastle... Nottingham Forest and Ipswich will be promoted in Season 2 of the Football Manager 2017 Arsenal Career Mode. Ipswich went on and win the playoffs like they did in my career mode. I can't remember exactly where they finished in the league. It was either 5th or 6th, but that is freaky. Newcastle, Nottingham, Ip Ipswich finishing in 6th will be in um, the Premier League next season. That is so weird. But... um. Yeah, it's great to see Newcastle uh, get promoted. It's kind of disappointing that they didn't hit 100 points. I reckon they most definitely should have. But Nottingham Forest did get promoted with them. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to the sneak preview of Season 2 of my Football Manager 2017 Arsenal career. We're going to be meeting some of the new signings. And I can't stress this enough, guys. If you want to see more Football Manager on the channel, leave a like. And a comment. That's the best way for me to gauge if you want to see more of this type of series. So let's meet some of the new players. So it's 2017. Let's meet them now, shall we? So we did sign them previously. We signed them very early on, but they've only just arrived. So we signed Akadi for £60 million. He was worth roughly 30 when we made the offer. He's worth 48.5 now, which is insane. 24 years of age, was second. was the second top goal scorer in the Serie A. His ability is three and a half stars. His potential ability is four stars. I might actually check Martial in season two. We signed Christian Pulisic, the 18-year-old American. He was worth roughly 20 million pounds when we bought uh, when we bought him. He's now worth 31.5. That was because his buyout clause was set to 31 million pounds, which I think is just nuts that Dortmund did that. He's currently two and a half star, but he has the potential to be a four, maybe a three, which is really good. We're definitely going to be able to get the money back for him if he flops. 
as well. Now, these two signings, I really like the Batshuayi one. Arnautovic is a bit of a risk, of course. But we signed Michi Batshuayi, 23 years of age, from Chelsea. He's worth £10 million here. We picked him up for £7 million. He arrived from Marseille to Chelsea for £34.5 million. <laughs> That's nuts. He didn't really play much in the first team, played mostly in the reserves. Now, Arnautovic, 28 years of age, £12 million. He's going to be more of a sort of squad rotational player on the right. We could very well just loan him out and then sell him in January for a profit. He is six foot four, so he is very big. I just want to quickly check Anthony Martial, 48.5, 21 years of age. Yeah, just nuts. So, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links if you haven't already. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and stay tuned for more videos on my channel. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, PC games, maybe even Football Manager, Xbox codes, and PlayStation, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. But yeah, do you want to see more Football Manager on the channel? Season 2, uh, my objectives will be to go for the Premier League, the UEFA Champions League. What's this? Oh, these are just shit, like English Community Shield and Europa Super Cup. Who really cares, if I'm being honest? And then we've got the FA Cup and the EFL. Yeah, maybe we can go for the double again. But thanks for watching, guys. My name is Ben Simpsy. Take care. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.